If you have back pain and you're trying to use core training to get lasting relief, but it's not working, this video is for you. Now, if you're new here, my name is William and I teach people how to overcome years and years of chronic unresolved lower back pain with the use of strength, movement, and mindset on their own. So if that's you, you're in the right place. So this is part three of my core strength and stability 101 mini series. So if this is your first video you're watching, make sure you go to the links inside the description or there'll be links somewhere on this video of the step one and step two exercises, that's super critical. The first exercise we're gonna to do today are side plank rotations. What we're gonna do is really focus on stability and endurance in a neutral place while managing our pain threshold. We're gonna have our top leg out front and our back leg in the back. That's gonna allow us to have more of a natural rotation as we go into this position. Most people know what a side plank is, but just for reference, I'm gonna break down how we should do this. So we're gonna have an active side here, nice and comfortable, I'm not in pain. I'm gonna help myself get up into a side plank, all right? Top legs out front, back legs in the back. And if this is difficult for you, just work on this for now. How we level up with rotations is I'm gonna take my hand, I'll put it on my chest, create stability. So I'm engaging my lats here. I'm engaging my lat here, my glutes are engaged. And I'm going to slowly rotate and try to put equal pressure on my forearm. So my fist is going into the ground, my elbow is going in the ground, my lat is engaged, everything is in the same position. And what I'm trying to do is I'm pivoting on those back of those feet down there. I'll come back. You don't have to do a lot. If you're new to this, you can simply do a small rotation and come back. Small rotation and come back. And then work your way up to more and more. Now let's make this a little bit easier. If the full side plank is too difficult for you, we can do one on our knees and this is how you do it. My feet and my legs stacked evenly. I've got the bottoms of my feet in line with my butt and my back. So when I go into my side plank, I'm actually going to bring my hips forward. Once I'm in this side plank, I'm gonna do a little bit of trick here. So I'm gonna pull forward and I'm gonna take this top leg and I'm gonna slide it forward just a little bit, okay? I'm gonna kind of hang it off a little bit as well. From here, I'm gonna have my active side plank and I'm going to rotate towards the ground. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that knee there. So when this top knee touches the ground, that's how I know I've gone far enough. Now you can make it more difficult, but you wanna be nice and easy. Go slow, controlled, making sure each rep is super high quality and you're not going too far into your pain threshold. You wanna match it. You wanna find out where you start to have a little bit of sensitivity and then stop before that and then practice within that range. All right, so a really fun exercise, the front plank Z pulls. What you're gonna need is a dumbbell. It could be a kettlebell. It could be a milk jug. Whatever you have, as long as it has some actual weight to it, then you'll be good to go. We're gonna be combining an awkward kind of pulling exercise with the straight arm front plank. And I'll break it down for you so you can kind of see how it works. First things first, make sure you can get into a front plank safely with a sensitive back is I always suggest bring the ribs down, abs on, Make sure your, your pelvis is in a neutral position. Take one leg out first, lock that glute in, lock in everything, and then lift the other leg. So you're here. I'm not dropping down like this. Shoulder blades are protracted, so they're pushing you out. I'm stabilized. Once you have that, that's when you're gonna draw the Z. So we're gonna actually do kind of like a backwards one. So you're taking the weight, you're gonna go across, up, and then across, and then back across, back down, and then across. So you're basically gonna do this zigzag factor like this with the weight. I'll start here, I'll have it furthest away from me. I'm gonna draw the line down, get set again, take the weight, pull it up, away, get set, and then I'll drag it across as far as I can. So you don't have to like, you shouldn't have to move too much other than how far your arm can move the weight. Here, reach under, grab it. That diagonal pull like this. Get set, grab it. See what I'm doing there? One more time, pull across as far as I can. Grab it, that diagonal pull as far as I can. Reach under, grab it. 
and you're there. The further you have your feet placed from each other, it's gonna be easier. The closer your feet are together, as far as the plank position goes, the harder it's gonna be. Start, draw your flat line there, diagonal, another flat line, front plank, Z pulls. Now the key with these two exercises is to do them every single day. The reps and sets is this is what I want you to follow. If it's something where you're holding for time, start low, 25, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It's not about how long you hold it for, it's about the quality of the actual rep. If you're gonna go for reps, stick to about 10 to 15 for right now. I give you a big range because I don't know where your pain is at. I don't know how much pain you're in or how little pain you're in or how this exercise is even treating you. So make sure that you understand how far you should be going and start with the lowest amount of reps. Now, when it comes to lasting chronic back pain relief, there's more to it than just core training. Now, if you have core training under control, you've been using these exercises, but you still feel stuck. You still feel like you had daily symptoms. They come and they go. You can't sit for long periods of time. You can't stay in for long periods of time. You may have a desensitizing problem where your body is so heightened, your pain is so heightened that you have to first focus on desensitizing your pain system so that you can actually progress forward. This is something that I go into detail with step by step, week by week, day by day inside of my strength and pain relief accelerator program. Now, if that's you, if you feel stuck, if you feel like, man, I just need more help so I can have a solid understanding of what exactly I need to be doing on a daily basis, there's a link in my description where you can jump on a call with me. We can dig into where you're at, dig into what's working, what's not working, and exactly whether or not I can actually help you. You can go to fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash apply or go to the link in the description of this video. And if you haven't gotten it already, make sure you go grab that 14-day core strength challenge. Thanks for tuning in to this three-part series. God bless and I will see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.